first of all, you need to communicate. You you need to talk to your seafarers. You need to give them an insight. Uh, is what are we talking about? Because everybody talks about decarbonization, but what is it in fact? What does it mean for my ship? What does it mean for my company? What does it mean for my industry? Because the debate you often see is that it's sort of put up to the companies or the shipping companies to do this transaction. But but we are not building engines. We are not producing fuel for the engines. So it's not as it is put forward. We have to assist in this transformation. We have to make the ships ready for test beds, etc. But the innovation, the the uh, the development of these things has to come from somewhere else, and we have to implement them on board our ships. And making the ship crew understand that is very, very important so they know why we are doing all these uh, things we are doing. But on board the ship itself, I would say the largest portion of what the seafarer has to contribute with is the operation on board. How do I operate a boiler? How do I operate my inert gas plant? How do I utilize my power from my auxiliary engines and so on, heat distribution on, on machinery? So it's a lot about a new thinking for the seafarers, how to save energy and thereby uh, emissions. And then from a company and a seafarer's perspective, there is a lot of new equipment, both digital equipment that can assist the ship in, in optimized operations, but also physical installations that you put on board, which has to be operated and so on. And all these things, every time you put a piece of equipment on board a ship, you need to educate the staff. So so that is where it comes with education, that, that we are bombarding the ship with a lot of equipment, and they need to adapt all this. And that's where education is difficult. Because if you, if you look historically, you had a STCW standard where you educate seafarers in certain sectors. If you're an engineer, you need these and these sectors to be fulfilled. If you're a navigator, you need this and this and this. And that's mighty fine, but when you come on board a ship, you might have a... Uh, methanol fuel engines, which you have not been taught about. You have uh, scrubbers, which you have not been taught about. You have a uh, ballast water treatment system. You have a lot of equipment out there or new ECTIS systems or, or anything that is highly complicated and digital uh, equipment. And then you're sort of back to square zero. And that demands the company to have a very, very strong educational system. Uh, so the, the educational part of or responsibility for a company is just growing and growing because the pace new equipment is being uh, developed. No educational system on a worldwide scale can follow that. So it's very much up to, to, the, to the various parts of the industry to, to make it happen.